Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and this time I'm taking a look at the release date trailer for Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning Fate Sworn, which I got a fly buzzing around, get out of here, um, which is a DLC for Kingdoms of Amalur, which is crazy because that game came out almost 10 years ago. They said when they were re-releasing Amalur last year um, that they were doing a new DLC too, like a new expansion, not even just DLC, this is an expansion straight up. Um, which is really cool because I loved Amalur and I think they did a pretty good job with that uh, remaster. I mean, it, it didn't look like amazing, but it, it it looked better and it was just really nice to have it again, you know, uh, better frame rate, looked a little bit better. You know, now we're going to have expansion stuff, which I'm assuming will cost more, which kind of uh, kind of sucks. I'm assuming it does. Maybe it's free. I don't know. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to assume it's coming out this month. That's that's my guess, because I don't know if they'll really build up hype for this. Also, um, my question is, what's going on with this thumbnail? Is this going to be like the cutscenes? Like, it's just like this, like kind of like artistic. I kind of like the way it looks. Almost like, uh, it almost looks like, um, I don't want to say like cave art. Obviously not. Uh, it looks like, like, like some stuff you'd see like they they do for like plays i guess or something i don't know anyway um amalur great game 10 years ago almost came out jesus christ and it came out like right after skyrim that's why i didn't really succeed sadly but i love it anyway let's go hell yeah blood and gore baby suggestive themes amalur is always changing okay. and as every ballad ends another one begins imagine this is the dlc a new thread in the tapestry of fate. <laughs> yeah, okay. This Wait. is one such Is that a character story. from Amalur? I, I don't remember a lot of the characters it from Amalur. It is the story of a young apprentice, his doting master, and a god who sought to reforge our world in chaos. Okay. So, a completely different story. snows of Mithros, a hero will be all that stands Isn't between that the order and ruin. For sometimes, fate is a burden from which you are fate is a sworn. or to which you are, you are sworn. And sometimes, not even fate can keep the monsters at bay. Kingdom of Amalur, Re-Reckoning, Fate Sworn. Okay, so no gameplay, unless this is what the game looks like. Which could be kind of fun, I guess. Um, so it's big, huge games working on it, and somebody else. Looks like the KB Toys logo, though. Um, not really, but not KB Toys. Uh, okay, so didn't show anything about that, and it comes out on, uh, I was right, December 14th. Okay, oh, well, I didn't say December 14th, but... I knew it was going to be in December, without a doubt. Um, they wouldn't build up for a big release date, you know? And they did say it was coming out this year sometime. Last year, they said it was coming out in 2021, so. Uh, all right. I think they said it was coming out, like, early 2021, though. So, I guess it just took a little while. Uh, Fate's Warren, an upcoming expansion for Kingdom of Amalur. Re-Reckoning arrives on uh, December 14th. PC, Xbox, and what? Okay, cool. So, they didn't show anything. I've got AVGM been watching. Whoa, a new DLC? Finally, a trailer with release date. After all this time, or all this all, all along, whatever. It didn't get the love it deserved. It's so good. It's so good. I actually really, really want to replay Kingdoms of Wombler. Uh I started when the when Re Reckoning came out last year. I even did a gore play the link for it. Um, I didn't get very far though. Like, there's a lot of content in Re Reckoning. If you've never or just Amalur itself. If you've never played Kingdoms of Amalur, you can get that game right now on Xbox One for like 15 bucks. You are getting so much content. There's so much shit in that game. And it's so much dialogue and, and, and lore and just like a lot of really cool stuff. I, I, I really do recommend it. Especially if you're like low on money and you just want a game that will last you a long time. And you're in the mood for a game like this. this, this I mean like just like a, a RPG with a lot of customization. A lot of loot you could find. Chakrams, you know Chakrams. You ever seen Zena? Zena, her 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 favorite weapon, the Chakrams. My favorite weapon in this game. 
Uh, any game that lets you have chocolums um, is at least one point higher or better than one without chocolums. Uh, didn't I almost want to say the Diablo have chocolums at one point? There's a Diablo style game where I where where you had chocolums. It might not be Diablo. Chakrams, by the way, C H A K R A M, or or I think it's Chakrams, but it's spelled like Ram. I think that's right. Maybe it's R I M. Whatever. Anyway, man, I, I'm probably mispronouncing. It. Anyway, cool. So I really like that trailer, but I wish we saw some gameplay. I'm sure we'll get some gameplay very soon, considering it comes out in ten days, twelve days. I'm forgetting what day it is. Um. There's some good stuff coming out this month, actually. I'm very happy that we, we have, of course, Halo Infinite. I've got that Dog and Rompo trilogy coming tomorrow. Uh, big Brain Academy. I'm, I'm a big I'm a big brain. Uh, this. I feel like there's something else. Qu uh, chorus looks pretty good. So Anyway, we're done. That's it. Bye.